dance. I bet you were wondering what I am doing. I am dancing the robot dance. Will you join me? Dancing like a robot is fun. But do you know what's even more fun? Playing with a robot. I just got this new robot toy. Isn't it cool? I haven't even played with it yet. You want to play with it together? Great! Let's see. What can it do? I guess it can walk over here. It can robot slide over here. This is fun! Let's get robotic! It was fun playing with this robot for a while. But now, it's getting a little boring. I just wish my robot did more cool stuff. I mean, what's better than getting robotic? Getting more robotic! Wait! Maybe my robot can do more cool stuff. I need to find the instructions! Instructions came with my robot to help me know how to play with it and what it could do. I know I put them around here somewhere. No, not here. No instructions here. Let's see. Oh, nope, not here. Uh -huh. Got them. I'm going to read the instructions and see if my robot can do even more cool stuff. While I get even more robotic, let's check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of Matthew chapter 17. Jesus was traveling around healing and teaching. He had chosen his friends to follow him and learn to do what he was doing. One day, Jesus and his closest pals went to a hike on a high mountain. If James, John, and Peter, Jesus' friends, were tired, well, they had no time to think about it because Jesus began to shine, like really shine. His face was as bright as the sun, even his clothes were shining. And if that wasn't strange enough, two people appeared next to Jesus, Moses and Elijah. Moses and Elijah were great followers of God who lived a long, long time ago, before Jesus even came to the earth. Moses and Elijah showing up was impossible, but there they were. Peter spoke up. He told Jesus it was good that they were there to see this and wanted to stay longer. He even asked Jesus if he should build shelters for the three of them, Jesus, Elijah, and Moses. While Peter was still talking, a bright cloud came down and covered them all. Then they heard God's voice. God told them that Jesus was God's son and they should listen to what Jesus says. Peter. James and John were scared and fell to the ground. But Jesus came up to them and told them to stand up. When they looked up, it was just him. Moses and Elijah were gone. Jesus told them not to tell anyone what had happened. But because of what Peter, James, and John saw that day, they were changed. They knew Jesus and they knew God even more than before. And that's because we change when we know who God is. So knowing who God is changed things. Friends, guess what? My robot can do more. It transforms into a car. Check it out. Whoa. Knowing more about this robot and all it can do really changes things. Just like knowing more about who God is changes us. I'm not bored with this robot anymore. I'm ready to play. Come on, friends. Let's get robotic.
so I could know what these pieces really were. That changed everything. When we know who God is, that changes everything in our lives too. Do you know who God really is? We change when we know who God is. It was so much fun learning and growing and getting robotic with you all today. See you next time. Bye, friends.